The History of Henry Ford In this video, dive into the life of Henry Ford, the innovator behind the automotive revolution and mass production. From his humble beginnings to the creation of the iconic Model T and the assembly line, Ford not only transformed the industry but also left a complex legacy full of achievements and controversies. Discover how his vision continues to impact our society. Chapter 1 – Origins and Inspiration Born on July 30, 1863, on a farm near Dearborn, Michigan, Henry Ford was the eldest child of William and Mary Ford. From his childhood, he showed an uncommon interest in all kinds of machinery, an interest that would become the spark for his future career. In a world dominated by manual agricultural labor, Ford's fascination with tools and mechanisms stood out. At the age of 12, he had built his first stationary steam engine, and by 15, he had assembled a clock from spare parts, demonstrating not only mechanical skill but also a remarkable capacity for self-teaching. The death of his mother in 1876 was a turning point in his life, intensifying his desire to escape the agricultural life he so detested. Ford would later recall how mechanics became his refuge, a way to honor his mother's memory by pursuing his passion instead of resigning himself to the existence she had wanted to avoid for him. At 16, he left the family farm to work as a machinist's apprentice in Detroit, where he immersed himself in the study of everything related to engineering and mechanics. This experience, combined with his self-taught education, laid the foundation for his technical understanding and innovative approach to mechanical engineering. Despite briefly returning to the family farm due to his father's health, Ford continued experimenting with machines, applying his knowledge in ways that would transform not just his life but the entire world. His marriage to Clara Bryant in 1888 provided him not just a life partner but also a confidant and financial support for his early mechanical experiments. Ford's insatiable curiosity and persistent desire to improve existing machinery led him to explore how he could motorize carriages, a vision that would eventually revolutionize transportation. This stage of his life distilled the essence of his character, a young man with a burning passion for innovation willing to challenge conventions and dedicate his life to transforming the industry through mechanics and engineering. Chapter 2 – First Steps in the Business World Henry Ford's career took a significant leap when he joined the Edison Illuminating Company in 1891. This employment not only offered Ford a stable platform to support his family but also provided the ideal environment to deepen his research into gasoline engines. His dedication and talent did not go unnoticed, rapidly advancing to chief engineer, a position that provided him with financial resources and time to devote to his personal experiments. During this period, Ford conceived the idea of a motorized vehicle, a dream he pursued with tenacity and precision. The long hours after work were spent in his shed, turning it into a laboratory of innovation where he shaped his vision. This space, dubbed Ford's Shed, became the epicenter of his early inventions, a testament to his unwavering commitment to mechanics and innovation. Ford's determination attracted various collaborators and financiers who shared his vision of the future of transportation. Though he faced challenges and skepticism, his ability to communicate his ideas and convince others of their viability was crucial. These early steps in the business world shaped Ford's character as a leader and innovator, teaching him valuable lessons about the importance of perseverance and strategic vision in business. The influence of Thomas Edison was particularly significant during this time. At an Edison Association dinner, Ford had the opportunity to present his motor vehicle model to Edison, who, impressed, offered words of encouragement. This encounter was decisive, strengthening Ford's resolve to continue his work on motorizing vehicles and marking the beginning of a lasting and mutually inspiring friendship. These early years in the business world not only established Ford as a promising engineer and entrepreneur but also laid the groundwork for his future enterprise. His experience at the Edison Illuminating Company not only provided him with the necessary technical knowledge but also a deep understanding of how to lead and manage a company in the nascent industrial world of the 20th century. Chapter 3 – The Creation of the Quadricycle 
The year 1896 marked a milestone in Henry Ford's career with the creation of the quadricycle, his first motorized vehicle. This invention not only demonstrated the feasibility of his vision but also symbolized the birth of what would eventually become the modern automotive industry. The quadricycle, with its lightweight frame and four-horsepower engine, was rudimentary but revolutionary, representing Ford's first tangible step towards democratizing personal transportation. The construction of the quadricycle was a process of trial and error, characterized by long hours of work in his shed. Ford applied his ingenuity and self-taught knowledge to overcome multiple technical challenges, from engine design to power transmission. Each obstacle resolved brought Ford closer to his goal, strengthening his conviction in the transformative potential of his work. The premier night of the quadricycle was a defining moment for Ford. After assembling the vehicle in his shed, he encountered an unexpected problem. The door was too narrow for the quadricycle. Undeterred, Ford knocked down part of the wall, a decision that symbolized his willingness to break barriers on his path to innovation. The first test was a success, with the quadricycle traveling the streets of Detroit, a testament to Ford's ingenuity and perseverance. This achievement not only captured the public's imagination but also attracted investors interested in the commercial potential of motor vehicles. However, for Ford, the quadricycle was more than a technical achievement. It was the embodiment of his belief in the power of technology to improve people's lives. Through this invention, Ford began to envision a future where every American family could afford a car, a dream that would guide the rest of his career. The quadricycle, therefore, was not just the culmination of Ford's early experiments with mechanics. It was the starting point of a revolution in transportation. This invention established Ford as a pioneer in the field of automotive and laid the foundation for his future efforts in manufacturing affordable and reliable vehicles for the mass public. The creation of the quadricycle was a testament to Ford's ingenuity, his dedication to innovation, and his unwavering commitment to the vision of a world transformed by accessibility to personal transportation. Chapter 4. Founding of the Ford Motor Company The founding of the Ford Motor Company in 1903 was the result of years of experimentation, learning, and determination on the part of Henry Ford. This milestone not only marked the beginning of one of the most influential automotive companies in the world but also represented the culmination of Ford's vision to produce an affordable car for the general public. With modest initial capital and a group of investors who shared his vision, Ford faced the challenge of establishing his company in a competitive and rapidly evolving market. The early days of the Ford Motor Company were filled with uncertainty and challenges. Ford and his team of engineers and workers devoted countless hours to the design and production of their first model, the Model A. This car, though basic by today's standards, was an immediate success, demonstrating the viability of Ford's vision and establishing the company's reputation for quality and innovation. Ford's determination to control all aspects of production, from material procurement to final manufacturing, revolutionized the automotive industry. This strategy not only ensured quality and reduced costs but also allowed Ford to implement his innovative ideas in mass production. His focus on efficiency and standardization would later become the cornerstone of the company's production philosophy. The founding of the Ford Motor Company was also a testament to Ford's leadership and entrepreneurial vision. His ability to overcome setbacks, combined with his commitment to innovation and quality, made him a respected and often controversial figure in the business world. Ford not only sought commercial success but also aspired to positively impact society, making mobility accessible to everyone. In the years that followed, the Ford Motor Company would experience exponential growth, driven by the introduction of innovative models and revolutionary production practices. The foundation of the company was not just the beginning of an industrial empire but also the birth of a new era in transportation, marked by Ford's vision of a future where the automobile would play a central role in people's daily lives. Chapter 5. The Model T and the Automotive Revolution The Model T, introduced by the Ford Motor Company in 1908, was not just another car, it was the vehicle that changed the world. Conceived by Henry Ford as the universal car, 
the Model T was designed to be durable, easy to operate, and, above all, affordable for the average American. This car embodied Ford's vision of democratizing transportation, making it possible for millions of people to own their first car. The production of the Model T was made possible by the innovative introduction of the moving assembly line in 1913, a revolution in manufacturing practices that dramatically reduced assembly time and production costs. This approach allowed the Ford Motor Company to produce cars at an unprecedented scale and speed, setting new standards of efficiency that would be adopted worldwide. The impact of the Model T on American society was profound and far-reaching. By making the car accessible to the working class, Ford not only transformed the automotive industry but also changed the social and economic fabric of the United States. The Model T facilitated personal mobility, contributing to the growth of suburbs, the development of new industries and services related to the automobile, and the creation of a car culture that would become a hallmark of American society. The design of the Model T reflected Ford's philosophy of simplicity and functionality. With its four-cylinder engine, planetary transmission, and ability to run on any type of road, the Model T was remarkably sturdy and easy to maintain. These features, combined with its affordable price, made the Model T the preferred car for a wide range of consumers, from farmers to urban businessmen. The production of the Model T continued until 1927, with over 15 million units sold. This car not only solidified Ford's legacy as one of the pioneers of the automotive industry but also served as a catalyst for an unprecedented social and economic transformation. The Model T symbolized the realization of the American dream of mobility and freedom, marking the beginning of a new era in which the automobile would become an essential part of modern life. Chapter 6. The Moving Assembly Line the introduction of the moving assembly line by Henry Ford in 1913 marked a turning point in the history of manufacturing. This innovation not only transformed the Ford Motor Company but also redefined the concept of mass production, establishing new paradigms of efficiency and accessibility in the automotive industry and beyond. The assembly line mobilized each vehicle through a series of stations where specialized workers and machines performed specific tasks a strategy that drastically reduced production time and cost. The impact of this innovation was immediate and profound. By reducing the assembly time of the Model T from 12 hours to less than 2.5 hours, Ford not only was able to increase production to unprecedented levels but also could reduce the cost of the car, making his vision of making cars accessible to the common man a reality. The moving assembly line became a symbol of American engineering and efficiency, inspiring industries around the world to adopt similar practices. This innovation had significant social implications. By making cars more affordable, Ford contributed to democratizing mobility, allowing a much broader segment of the population to enjoy the benefits of personal transportation. Additionally, the need for a large number of workers to operate the assembly line led Ford to implement the famous $5 a day wage in 1914 a move that not only improved the lives of his employees but also set a new standard for wages in the industry. However, the assembly line also brought challenges. The repetitive and monotonous work led to job dissatisfaction and a high turnover rate among employees. Ford and his team had to address these issues, implementing changes in working conditions and the structure of the workday to improve worker satisfaction and efficiency. The adoption of the moving assembly line was a testament to Ford's commitment to continuous innovation and his desire to apply principles of efficiency not only to his products but also to his production processes. This approach not only strengthened the Ford Motor Company's position as a leader in the automotive industry but also established Ford as a pioneer in the field of operations management. Chapter 7. Fordism and its Social Impact the term, Fordism, has been used to describe the system of mass production and innovative labor practices introduced by Henry Ford, which had a significant impact not only on the automotive industry but also on the American economy and society. Central to Fordism was the $5 a day wage, a revolutionary strategy implemented in 1914 that doubled the average wage of workers. 
This policy not only sought to reduce the high employee turnover rate caused by the repetitive work on the assembly line but also had a broader social goal, to increase the purchasing power of workers, allowing them to become consumers of the products they produced. The impact of Fordism was profound. By improving the living standards of his employees, Ford not only fostered greater loyalty and efficiency among his workforce but also contributed to the development of an expanding middle class. This middle class, equipped with unprecedented purchasing power, was instrumental in fostering a new consumerism in American society, driving demand for automobiles and other durable goods. Furthermore, Fordism introduced significant changes in the workplace, promoting the standardization of tasks and the specialization of workers. Although these practices increased production efficiency, they also sparked criticism for dehumanizing work and limiting worker autonomy. Despite these challenges, the Ford model proved to be incredibly influential, serving as a model for industrial production worldwide. Ford's focus on mass production and mass consumption also had a significant cultural impact, shaping the American identity around values such as efficiency, pragmatism, and progress. Ford's vision of a motorized society not only changed the urban and rural landscape of America but also influenced social mobility, offering new employment opportunities and contributing to economic growth. The legacy of Fordism extends beyond the automotive industry, affecting the organization of work, labor relations, and consumption patterns in the global economy. Through his innovations, Henry Ford not only transformed how products were manufactured and sold but also reconfigured the social and economic structure of society, leaving an indelible mark on the 20th century. Chapter 8. Global Expansion and the Ford Motor Company Under the direction of Henry Ford, the Ford Motor Company not only consolidated its dominance in the American automotive market but also undertook an ambitious global expansion. This expansion was driven by Ford's vision to internationalize the production and sale of automobiles, bringing the Model T revolution to consumers around the world. In the early 20th century, Ford established assembly and production plants in countries such as Canada, Great Britain, Germany, France, and beyond, adapting his business model to different markets and cultures. Ford's global expansion strategy not only sought to capitalize on new markets but also to spread his philosophy of mass production and efficiency. Through these international operations, Ford introduced innovative work practices and technologies in the global automotive industry, establishing production and management standards that would be adopted worldwide. The global presence of Ford had a significant impact on the automotive industry, transforming the company into a symbol of modernity and technological innovation. Ford cars became symbols of accessibility and reliability, contributing to the growth of personal mobility in numerous countries. This expansion not only reinforced Ford's position as a leader in the automotive industry but also played a crucial role in the globalization of the world economy. However, Ford's international expansion also faced challenges, including adapting to foreign markets, competition with local manufacturers, and global economic fluctuations. Despite these obstacles, Ford persevered, demonstrating the viability of his business model on an international scale and establishing a production and distribution network that would be the envy of the industry. The global expansion of the Ford Motor Company is a testament to Henry Ford's vision of a world interconnected by personal transportation. Through his efforts, Ford not only contributed to the growth of the automotive industry but also fostered economic and cultural integration worldwide, leaving a lasting legacy that transcends borders and generations. Chapter 9. Conflicts and Controversies Henry Ford's career was marked not only by his innovations and business successes but also by conflicts and controversies that revealed the complexities of his character and legacy. One of the most controversial aspects of his career was his staunch opposition to unions. Although Ford was known for his progressive labor policies, such as the $5 a day wage, he also vehemently opposed unionization, believing he could better address his employees' needs without third-party intervention. This stance led to clashes with labor unions, culminating in incidents like the Battle of the Overpass in 1937, where union organizers were brutally attacked by Ford's security service. 
Another source of controversy was the accusation of anti-Semitism against Ford. Through the publication of his newspaper, The Dearborn Independent, Ford disseminated articles that promoted anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and criticism towards Jews, earning widespread criticism and damaging his reputation. Although he later retracted and apologized for these publications, accusations of anti-Semitism have marred his legacy. Ford's views on war and peace also generated controversy. Before the United States' entry into World War I, Ford was a prominent advocate of pacifism, even financing a peace expedition to Europe in a failed attempt to stop the conflict. However, once the United States entered the war, the Ford Motor Company became a major supplier of vehicles and supplies for the war effort, which some saw as a contradiction to his previous pacifist stances. These conflicts and controversies reveal a complex figure, whose innovations transformed the industry and society, but whose opinions and decisions often generated division and debate. Ford's life exemplifies the tension between innovative genius and personal flaws, reminding us that significant changes often come from imperfect hands. Chapter 10. The Final Years and Retirement The final years of Henry Ford's life were marked by his withdrawal from the day-to-day -day management of the Ford Motor Company and reflection on his impact on the world. In 1945, Ford handed over the presidency of the company to his grandson, Henry Ford II, marking the end of his direct era of leadership. This change of guard coincided with a period of transformation for the company and the automotive industry, adapting to the realities of the post-war period and changing consumer demands. In retirement, Ford devoted himself to his personal interests, including caring for his health and family, as well as managing the Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan a project he was deeply passionate about. This complex served as a monument to American innovation and entrepreneurship, reflecting Ford's beliefs and values about the importance of history and education in fostering progress. Despite retiring from public life, Ford continued to influence the Ford Motor Company and the automotive industry through his legacy and the business practices he had established. His focus on innovation, production efficiency, and commitment to making cars accessible remained at the heart of the company's philosophy. Henry Ford passed away on April 7, 1947, at the age of 83, leaving behind a complicated but undeniably transformative legacy. His vision and innovations not only changed the way cars were manufactured and sold but also had a profound impact on American society and the global economy. Ford's life is a testament to the power of innovation to change the world, but also a reminder of the complexities and contradictions inherent in the figure of a pioneer. His passing marked the end of an era, but the beginning of a future defined by his legacy of transformation and progress.